She-Hulk and Daredevil. We know that he's going to show up in the upcoming Disney Plus nine-episode miniseries called She-Hulk Attorney at Law. But you might be wondering, are these two superheroes going to be friends or are they going to be foes? Will it be one way in the courtroom and another way in person? Well, the lead actress, Tatiana Maslany, has let the answer slip in an interview. And so we're going to talk about all of that right now. Welcome or welcome back to The Mama Saga, where this Marvel-loving mama is a mother and a lawyer by day, but breaks down comic book sagas, movies, and shows like She-Hulk by night. Okay, so here goes. The MTV interview was key. It's the interview that Tatiana Maslany gave recently that tells you how things go down in the MCU. But first, in the Marvel comic book saga, sure, the two superheroes got along, but they did have to face off against one another in court once, in one case that was super high profile, no less, one where Matt Murdock served as a prosecutor with a case against Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America, who in turn retains She-Hulk to defend him. The case centered around a claim where Rogers allegedly had gotten into an argument with a group of Nazis in 1940, and by doing so kicked off circumstances that led to the death of an innocent young man. By the way, just in case you were wondering, this all occurred before Rogers had been given the super soldier serum. So there's no Captain America in this fact pattern. Just Steve Rogers, the man. Anyway, She-Hulk had to put her friendship with Matt Murdock aside to serve as a zealous advocate on behalf of Steven Rogers to help protect his legacy, not just as a superhuman, but as a man of honor and integrity. She-Hulk wins the day because the circumstantial evidence that exists does not sway the jury, despite Murdoch's best efforts. But no harm done to the friendship after that. In fact, She-Hulk has been known to visit the comic book version of Daredevil for advice. But the, are these two friends or foes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, in an interview with MTV Daily, Tatiana Maslany was specifically asked about the relationship between Daredevil and She-Hulk. And the actress stated, quote, Best friends. We're best friends. Yeah, he's great. Unquote. And the showrunner Jessica Gao in a separate interview has said, quote, well, obviously what Jen has in common with Matt Murdock is that they're both lawyers, but also uniquely, they're both lawyers who happen to be superheroes. So they have that in common. Unquote. It's been speculated that Matt Murdock is being given a chance to have a lighter, brighter run in the She-Hulk series before having to go into the darker storyline that will be run approximately two years from now when the series Daredevil Born Again streams also on Disney Plus in the spring of 2024. I'm curious to see how these two brothers at bar, if you will, will have a relationship even a merely platonic one, that will sow the seeds for the upcoming Daredevil-focused storyline. Friendships in the courtroom are not a very rare thing. According to a survey taken by millions of people that were, was put out by Career Explorer, it found that lawyers have the least happy career experience, with only 7% of them citing to being satisfied with their careers. And according to Forbes, associate attorney is the number one unhappiest job. Look, I know from experience that being friendly with other attorneys in the courtroom can make a miserable case far more tolerable. Now, you may wonder, wait a second, is it unethical for attorneys to be friendly with opposing counsel? The answer is no, it is not unethical. It is not against any disciplinary rules or ethical canons, at least not in the United States. By the way, this is just legal issue spotting for entertainment purposes, not legal advice, okay? After sitting in court all day, attorneys tend to get to know one another. Friendships form. Respect for one another exists. We're normal human beings like everyone else, you know? So playful banter back and forth amongst attorneys is even fine and doesn't mean 
anything illegal and immoral or unethical is going on. It simply means that adult professionals are familiar with one another due to their line of work and are friendly due to all the experience they have with one another, which is normal. Given how stressful this profession is, we non-superhero attorneys will often make friends with one another to cut through the tension. Legal circles, even in bigger cities, can be smaller than you might think. Therefore, I would not be surprised at all to see Jennifer Walters and Matthew Murdoch be friendly in the courtroom and outside of it as superheroes, getting one another's backs as well. They have way too much in common not to be barrister-based besties at the end of the day. Anyway, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to The Mama Saga for more comic book saga breakdowns, Salty Mama style. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.